Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video, it's my pleasure that I can share with you another uh, a Rough Rider uh, series knife from the Blue Jean Micarta series. For those of you who don't know, uh, Rough Rider is a well-known and established brand owned by Smoky Multi Kniveworks from USA, of course, and uh, these are made in China and give you a high value proposition for your money. Uh, currently, uh, they have also a traditional uh, series uh, with another blue jean micarta in production, and I will uh, show you the comparisons between that and this one. So this is the newest one for uh, 2022, to be uh, more specific. The model number is RR2353, and it is the tiny toothpick. Toothpick, of course, is a uh, recently sized small knife, of course, but uh, they do not have uh, any large uh, version currently available. So uh, I will show you the comparison between another toothpick that I have, and it is just, uh, in my in my opinion, my book, a standard toothpick. Okay, so let's see uh, the the specification so we have all a length of 13.4 uh, centimeters or 5.3 inches the blade is 5.7 centimeters or 2.2 inches with a cutting edge of 5 centimeters or 2 inches only so definitely if you live in a jurisdiction where maybe locking knives or uh, knives above 3 inches are prohibited then uh, this will be a excellent uh, daily carry uh, for you uh, the blade width is only 1.8 cm or 0.31 inches uh, with a thickness of 1.7 cm or 0.06 inches, so uh, extremely thin blade. The handle is 7.6 cm or 3 inches long or uh, and thickness is 1 cm or 0.4 inches. The faded Blue jean uh, micarta features, micarta series features uh, also a orange liner underneath uh, the inlay. We have uh, nickel silver bolsters, pins, and shield, which is uh, style in the federal with uh, stamped RR. Liners are standard uh, brass construction. Non-locking, sorry, uh, non-locking uh, stainless steel back spring. We have a 90 degree half stop and really nice walk and talk. The centering on these um, can be off. It is just uh, the nature of the knife because keep in mind these are pinned, so uh, there is no screw for adjustment. Okay, so opening, I would say. <laughs> maybe around five definitely uh, nothing problematic you can also pinch it but also uh, use the dedicated nailing opening right there so I would say about five it will definitely not bust your or hurt your fingers so this is what uh, we look at uh, at the traditional knife to have maybe around five or six tops uh, to be a uh, pleasant, uh, smooth opening uh, experience. The blade on this one is a 440A, which is definitely a down uh, grade from the previous uh, series, which featured the T10 carbon uh, blade. And uh, we have a, a long clip uh, profile blade which has an uh, exorbitant amount of billboarding uh, just due to the nature of the size of the blade and they are using their standard font which is 440 razor sharp steel and model number in China the other side uh, has only the Rough Rider tank stamp on the tank nice polishing uh, through the whole knife I definitely don't see any gaps, major imperfections, nothing like sorts of that. The weight comes at 27 grams or 0 0.9 ounces, so this is uh, almost uh, feather-like. Uh, yeah, 
definitely will not weigh down your pocket. And of, co of course it is ideal uh, for your uh, fifth uh, pocket. Okay, let's talk about the pricing. So, uh, Rough Rider has a really nice uh, pri pricing structure. So the small ones are at the nine ninety nine, and uh, the middle ones are around uh, fourteen ninety nine, and the uh, um, larger ones with four forty a are around sixteen ninety nine. So this uh, stands uh, at the bottom of the pricing. So nine dollars ninety nine cents. Keep in mind, uh, this is uh, directly from Smoky Mountain Ivory, so no uh, shipping or uh, taxes uh, included. But overall, I would say this is a uh, hell of a bargain uh, for uh, $10 to get this knife. I will be really happy if <laughs> I were from US and uh, could buy at those prices right there. Okay, so now uh, if you are uh, buying from um, European Union like I am, I will link you some uh, options uh, for you. You can uh, search there. So now let's continue with the, with the size uh, comparison. So uh, let me put out uh, the back. Uh, for some reasons, these are also made in China. I don't know why, because most uh, of back knives that I had in the, in the past made in the US but for some reason this is an imported line and you can see the comparison so they look almost uh, the same maybe a little bit uh, a little bit smaller they are probably a little bit smaller yeah okay here's the peanut and also a beautiful uh, knife maybe uh, if you would like to have more blades then then peanut is something i can uh highly recommend uh most of rider peanuts have uh two blades uh one clip point and one pen blade uh, let me open it up for you too. so here's a pen blade Okay, now let's see the comparisons uh, between the previous uh, uh, blue jean my Carter series which is this one here this is a small trapper from the series you can see there uh, they used uh, full mirror polish on the teeth and carbon just uh, to protect it more you can see the differences between the shading of the my Carta. so this is the, the faded uh, blue jean series and this is the what I call the traditional uh, blue micarta, uh, jean micarta series. So I don't know what was going on, why they released uh, two really similar uh, jean uh, micarta jean series. Uh, they could definitely continue this one because this had only 10 models, which is uh, fairly uh, low uh because they have a have some series that have maybe over 20 models in there but definitely there is no uh peak toothpick uh in the previous uh, series so good to know that uh they bringing out new models or another another models for in this series okay so now let's continue with some size comparison so here is your small or standard stockman Here is a uh, Sawdbuster Junior from Case. Tribal Lock from Case. A work Nike from Rough Rider. Swayback Jack, the Triple R. A reserve Rough Rider 009 model. Okay, let's continue with more modern knives. So, this is the CVV Elementum, 
small griptilian bug vintage select small kershaw leak Rat model two Spider Codelica and let's close it down with K Bar Dozier Folding Hunter. Okay, so overall, if you are looking for uh, something small, functional, and uh, just a classy, dressy, uh, <laughs> uh, traditional slip joint, then uh, either go uh, with, the, with the peanut or uh, the toothpick. You will be more than happy and it will definitely uh, uh, do the job opening packages, maybe cutting up some uh, some fruit and so all those uh, small tasks, uh, nothing major, of course, you cannot uh, break down. Maybe you could also break down a, a large box, a cardboard box, but uh, keep in mind this is a 440A, so it will dull uh, really uh, fast, and but uh, it will uh, touch up really lightly and uh, fast, so if you have uh, some kind of strop, then definitely. I forgot to show you the sharpness, so oh, sorry about that. <laughs> So, definitely it could uh, use some stropping. They are definitely sharp, uh, you, you, can, you can use them out of the box, but I always uh, try to emphasize uh, use your uh, strop and bring the, uh, bring the blade to hair popping sharp uh, really quickly without any problems okay that being said i would like to thank you for watching thank you for your time i always i appreciate all of my subscribers if you are not one of them then please consider subscribing do not miss any future videos so uh, i try to release at least three videos per week mostly knife and gear oriented but sometimes i don't start regarding my other hobbies with that being said i would like to wish you uh, a great day and uh, see you soon